In this movie, I'm going to talk about managing your layouts in Adobe Connect. So as a host, and I'm logged into my own room here as a host, you can see that vertical bar on the right hand side has my layouts in it. So there are different uh, pages that you have set up, different layouts, there's no real better word for it. And I'll just show you some of them. Mine are a mess and I need to organize them. So I thought maybe I would do a little video to show you how you can rename them, delete them, reorganize them and so forth. So I always have a lobby. So if I click on this little lobby layout, I still have a slide in here from when uh, my friend Jesus did a presentation for me recently. And I really don't need that to be in here, but I might wanna leave that share pod open. So I'm just gonna click stop sharing. It removes the content from the pod, but leaves that empty pod in there so I can reuse it for something else. I have a logo up here. I could have a photo of myself. This just happens to be a graphic file. So if you wanted to put a picture of yourself or a picture of your company logo, something like that. Um, this particular room I use for an Adobe user group that I run. So I have a Creative Cloud logo up here, but it's basically just a share pod that you just load some content into. Here's my attendee list. And here's a chat pod down here where people can chat. So this might be what I show at the very beginning. Maybe I might have a timer in here as well, but I might have some slides for people to look at and so forth. So that's my lobby. And then I might have a demo. And again, these are not really set up all that well, but I don't really need a timer in here for the demo, but I do wanna leave a chat pod so people can ask questions. And I like to have an attendee list as well so I can see how many people are in the room. Down here I have one called survey. I like to have this set up. I actually like to have one before the event and after the event. This is just an example of, of a layout that I set up using polls. And I've got a little note pod there uh, for some information. Uh, it has my contact information that I wanna share with my attendees. And I also have a chat pod so that they can ask questions or give comments if they want to. The thing about using polls is that you can set it up so that they can see the results or you can set it up so they can't see any of the other answers. I'm just gonna show you real quick here. I'm gonna move myself down here as a participant just to show you. This is what it looks like to my participant. So I can go in here and say, yes, definitely. Maybe choose a couple topics that are of interest to me and anything else that I want to add. And so this is all I see as a participant. But if I make go back up here and make myself a host for a minute, and if I set this to broadcast the results, watch what my participant will see now. And actually I need to answer it from the other computer. Let me just go in there and add another answer. Okay, so I've now answered it from another computer. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like again as a participant when you broadcast results. So now as a participant, I am seeing my answer, but I'm also seeing what other people answered. In this particular case down here, uh, another person answered the same question answer as mine in two cases and so forth. So by choosing that broadcast results, it allows people to see what other people have answered. It doesn't tell them who answered, but it allows them to see it. That can be good or bad. It can also influence their answers. So what I tend to do is to not broadcast results until almost everyone else has answered. But this is a great way to use a layout to put some, uh, some things on here, some polls to ask people maybe before your event and after. If you wanna place text on here, the only real way to do it is to use a notepad because it does allow you to resize it. It allows you to um, change the color and so forth. So uh, to put a message like this, this is just simply a notepad. But this is how you can go in here and see all of your different layouts. Here's one that I don't need anymore. I might wanna get rid of it. So what I can do, if I hover over it over here in this little layout menu, I can delete it right from here by clicking on that little X, but I can also go up under the layouts menu and go down to manage layouts. And the one I wanna get rid of is called Kathleen. I was teaching a friend of mine. So I'm just going to choose that one and delete it here. I could also rename it if I wanted to. So I'm gonna click delete and that one is gone. And so now you can see it's removed from the list over here. So you can organize and create your own layouts. Down here, I'm gonna click the plus sign. I can create a brand new blank one or I can base one on an existing one. So I'm gonna to choose to make a brand new blank one and I'm just gonna call this um, dem Demo 2. 
click OK. And now I have a totally blank one. What you're seeing over here is my presenter area. Let me just rem hide that so it doesn't confuse you. So I have a totally blank layout. And now I can start bringing in things as I need to. So there's my attendee list, and I can resize that as I need to. I can bring in a chat pod, either the existing one or a new one. And there's a little bit of a snap here that when I try to organize things, you have smart guides. Maybe I want to have a share pod so that I can bring in my notes and other things down here I might want to add, or maybe I just want to pull this all the way down. So then I can just go in here and reorganize my layouts as I see fit. So you can use this menu over here on the side. You can also use the drop down menu up here for layouts. And one final thing is that you can go into prepare mode. If you click this little gear down here at the bottom, I believe there's an option up here as well, switch to prepare mode. Either of those will put you into prepare mode. You'll get a little message. The little gear, uh, the tools icon turns gold. And then you can hop back and forth and work on your rooms, on your layouts rather, without being bothered, uh, bothering anyone else. So someone could be teaching in one of these layout rooms, and then you can go down here and use that presenter, uh, excuse me, that prepare mode to go in there and work on another layout, maybe load some files or, or do some final maintenance to it, and then click this again and it takes you back to seeing what everyone else is seeing. So that's a little bit about working with layouts in Adobe Connect.